Hi guys, it's nice to have you back here at Murphy's Welcome to My World. This time, it's the Tale of the Ziupa, or something like that. A couple of months ago, I was reading one of my favorite magazines, Narrow Gauge Down Under, and I ran across this little article about an inexpensive plastic model that was found on eBay. So I started digging around, yes, they let Dennis on eBay, and I found that a number of different distributors offer them. Come to find out, there's a company called Del Prado Inn that produces a whole line of these different kind of locomotives. And they were cheap. They were really cheap. In fact, I got two of them for less than $10 US, which included postage all the way from China. To try to find out what gauge this is, you can see you got HO, HO, and 3, and then N. So it's in gauge track, but certainly not in scale. And I tried to take it off the base, and it had this funny little three-sided screw in the bottom. It was a bugger getting off. Anyway, getting back to gauge and scale, you notice that the people on the left, that's in scale. People on the right, that's HO scale. Scale deals with all kinds of things. The people, the buildings, the houses, the cars, everything. Well, according to Neil's article in the magazine, his idea was to make a load on a flat car. So I got out one of my flat cars that I built and decided I would use that as a donor car. And here we've got the load on the flat car. So the big question now is, what am I going to do with it? Well, these are the folks that actually run the locomotive, and I'll tell you more about them now. This is a real railroad that operates way down at the south tip of Argentina. If you went any further down, you'd be down in the Antarctic. And it's part of what used to be a run into the penal colony. It was built by prisoners. And it's a 500 millimeter or 19 and 3 quarter inch gauge narrow gauge. Very interesting operation. Here are some of the specifics for you guys that want to have specifics. And they run seven day operation all year long. Here are some of the locomotives. They have a number of these small locomotives. If you think about that, that's a pretty small gauge. There's a big national park that they run through. Like I said, summer and winter. So if you get down there during the winter, well, expect it to be real winter because they're way down there close to Antarctica. Of course, during the summer, they have a real summer. Very cool looking place. I would love to go down there sometime. We'll see. Okay, what am I going to do with this little model? Well, I decided I wanted to make a display case for it because it's just such a cool little thing. So I got some uh, old foam out and I like to do this one step covering where you slop white glue all over and then you put your track down and your scenic stuff. I always build a backstory to everything that I put together and I'm building a ramp so of course I make a lot of repetitive accurate cuts with my chopper too. Nothing better. And you can never have too many handy little helpers. Now this ramp, it's part of my story, because I always make a story up. The narrow gauge line leading down the standard three foot gauge leading down to the south end ends up getting close to but not connecting with this much smaller gauge. So you have the locomotive sitting on the flat car. You gotta get it off. And you'll notice that I've taken the same shot twice. One without smoke and the other one with smoke and so I built this ramp to be able to get the locomotive off of the flat car and down into the new area pretty cool huh so what do you think do you like it with or without the smoke personal choice I guess this was a great fun little project taking a toy a plastic toy putting a story behind it then building something to go with it if you guys are having as much fun with your hobby as I am, try doing this. Try taking something that would customarily be nothing that you would play with. Of course, you always have the opportunity to go down and work with these guys. How about that? Could be fun. Think about it. See you guys.